Hello, welcome to Tony's Bonsai. Today we're talking about oaks, but before I get into that, I want to just tell you something you may not know about me. I'm a big player in international trade. Not diamonds, not gold, the greatest commodity of them all. Acorns. <laughs> Following one of my videos earlier in the year, a couple of chaps from across the pond uh, asked if they could possibly get hold of some European acorns and in return they said they'd send me some American oaks. I've got my first package today. It's from a great guy, I'm sure a lot of you know him. He's called Matt Brennan and he sent me this package. So let's take a look. This is about as exciting as it gets for me. Love it. What more could you want in a package on a, on a Saturday morning? I'll just take the top off and see what I've got. Oh, it's well packed. Much nicer done than the stuff I sent him. Wow. So he's included these oaks. He's put them in some compost. And wouldn't you know it, <laughs> the American oaks are bigger. <laughs> they do everything bigger over in the States. So I'll give you a close up look. Wow. These look great. Look at them. They're, they're sprouting really nicely. Look how strong those sprouts are. Excellent. So look here. We've got this wonderful shoot sprouting out of these. And we can see in terms of size, they're quite a lot, quite a lot bigger. The American ones seem to just pop out of a hole in the end. Whereas the English, English oak tends to split open the whole case and it cracks before any shoot comes out. So very, very interesting. I've got lots of these planted up. So today I want to get some of these in some soil. Fantastic. Matt sent me a couple of dozen of these plants and I've read online and it says you plant the, the pointed end upwards. So I think you just plant them like that. I'm going to put, put them in like that. I'm going to do one tub with them all pointing upwards as it says, like that. So they're all pointed straight up. And I'm going to do another part with the actual stalk, although that's the root. So I'm going to do another one with the root pointing down so they'll kind of lay on the side. So I'll do this one laying down. I mean, look at that long root. These ones have been on the Gatorade. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm just pointing that root down into the soil. Just like that. And then all you do is just cover them with two or three centimetres of soil and the job's done. And for this last one, what I think I'll do is I'll try and create like a, a clump style planting. So I'll put all these kind of pointing into the center like that, sort of on the sides. So they're all going to sort of fight each other and hopefully all kind of come up and compete they won't all make it these ones haven't opened so i'll save these others that haven't opened and see if they do germinate but i've got six in there i know they say you have an odd number but i don't believe in that one of them will probably die anyway cover them there and hopefully I'm going to have an American oak clump style. Yes. 
because I love oaks, earlier this year when I heard about a type of tree called a turkey oak, I went out and got hold of one. It's not the most promising bonsai. I got it in a pot, I've left it for the year to grow on. It's had a really good year and now it's showing loads and loads of buds for next year. So before I do some work on this tree, I want to show you the difference in the leaves. Before we continue on, I want to show you these leaves. Can you see that? That coloration. I know a lot of you know a lot about funguses and mold, but do any of you recognize that? Can you tell what it is? I want you to say it out loud, what you think that is. And I'm guessing you're all saying mildew and you'd be wrong. It's matte emulsion paint. <laughs> I was doing some decorating um, last week and I didn't realise but as I was cleaning my roller it was spraying all over the leaves but these leaves are ready to drop soon so it's not really a problem. But I want to show you the difference in the leaves. So I'll take a leaf here, it's not got too much paint on it and look at the difference there. These turkey oak leaves are lovely, they're quite different, they're a lot more delicate and they've got this gorgeous yellow colour in the autumn, so definitely a tree I'm looking forward to working on. Just before I start work on that turkey oak, I just thought I'd show you this one. You might, regular viewers will recognise it. I think I called it Big Chop. I collected it in the spring, it hadn't done well, so I did a major cut on two, both trunks. And it's had a super healthy year, and I'm looking forward to doing some work on this next year. Back to the turkey oak, I did apply some wire earlier this year. I got some very basic movement into it because it was completely straight and I wanted something but I think I'd like it to have a bit more movement. So I'm going to try and apply some really thick wire to the base of this to try and get some something a bit more interesting going on. There's loads of buds all up here, it's full of buds. So this is where I'd like it to grow next year and if possible I'd like to get some movement lower down where I won't be affecting the buds. I'm going to start off by wrapping the trunk with some of this vet tape. It's a bit of an experiment as well this to, to see whether this will help to protect the bark when I'm applying thick wire and a serious bend which I am, I'm hoping to in this case. So I'm just working my way up, giving it a nice, a nice wrap in the tape. And, oh, that's the end of that roll, perfect. And I do my trick that I was told, which I love. You can't rip it actually, this tape. I did that last time. You just have to cut it with scissors. It's just me being lazy, really. Uh, especially when I've got the scissors in my hand. <laughs> uh, so I just tie that like that, and that that all holds on very nicely there. Did a reef knot on it there. Not a granny knot, they were reef knot. Remember me days in the Cub Scouts. There we go, so that's nicely wrapped. Now, all I need to do is put a piece of wire on this. I could dig it in, but when I'm working with such thick wire, what I like to do is just pre-bend the wire like that, and then hold it with my hand. And by doing that, Can get nice contact all the way up like this dead easy and this is thick stuff you know this is this is thick wire this I think it's five mil or what they call four gauge is one piece enough to get the bend in there it probably would be plenty to get the bending up here, but down here with this really thick section, I'm going to need a second piece. This is now ready for bending. We've got a gentle curve away at the top here, which is nice. And then 
the tree comes sort of this way, so sort of away from the camera. So ideally I'd like this bend to come this way and towards the camera. And all I'm doing is there's not nothing technical about this. And again, I want this to come in and towards. And by doing it that way, by twisting in the same way as the wire, I'm tightening this wire. I'm holding these pieces to support the wire. I'm not gonna, going to go mad. I think that's enough. Could I go a little further? It's quite thick, this, you know, I'm There, that's enough. I don't want to go crazy. I've got some nice movement into a fairly thick section of trunk there. I've now got some nice movement around this base. I think that works really well. I'd like to chop it down to this sort of height, but in reality, loads of the buds are around here. So, I don't want it to be so tall and unwieldy. It's going to be blowing over all winter. I keep having to pick it up. So I think just by taking that off, we're good to go. Up at the top here, you can see all the buds. There's loads of them. They're all around the back as well. I'll just put a bit of cut paste on the top just to seal it in from disease. And the transformation is complete. This is an example of another of my, my oaks that I've got knocking about. Got tons of oaks, I just love them. They're great trees. What I'm going to do with all these American oaks, I don't know, they look pretty much like they're all going to germinate. So I'm going to have rakes of them and I might get some of them out to some of the English, uh, British YouTubers, um, Xavier and uh, Jason Guy and Bonsai Cornwall. I might get some out to all of them um, for them to grow on. They can all have an American oak. I love that kind of community on YouTube. So uh, yeah, excellent. If you want to see the progress of these American oak seedlings and see how they come out and how they compare to all the English oak um, acorns that are planted, you know what to do, hit subscribe. Apart from that, have a great day and I'll see you soon.